Welcome back to the channel guys and thank you so much for being here today. If you're new to the Nerd Jock, please go ahead and subscribe. Also hit those notification bells so you can stay up to date with all of our cool unboxings and first impressions on things such as this. Also give us a like and some comments below, helps us out in the algorithm. But without further ado though, let's go ahead and get into this video. So as you can see here behind me, yes, it's been out for about a year now and I have had my eye on these for a while. I found one for a good price and now I've got it here at the Nerd Jock. Super excited. Uh, I know the rest of my family is excited. Um, so we have the 9-bot go-kart here, the go-kart pro. Of course, this is by Segway. So we're just gonna get straight into this video. We'll unbox it, get into all the parts that comes in the box, and then we'll put it all together, take it on a test run, and I'll give you my thoughts. If you should purchase this at the full retail price of 2,200, or wait till there is some deals going on out there to get a hold of this. Let's go ahead and get into the unbox. So here we have the initial go-kart itself. I love the color scheme here with the lime green and then this, um, I would say like a gun metal color, like a matte finish there. Um, the tires are a very hard rubberized because this is made for drifting. And then, so the cool thing about this one is you get a two in one here. So you can use this as the go-kart as it came or you can also use it as a hoverboard um, which you they include all of those pieces in there if you want to convert it to the hoverboard and all you would do here is remove these two straps here they're just velcroed on lift up on the go-kart itself and then you would put that uh, leg bar in between uh, this hoverboard here then you got a uh, brake light back here. I know it's supposed to have some LEDs underneath and around. And um, the pedals are really nice. They look, uh, you know, just like the racing pedals. They are metal here. And the seat's not half that bad. Um, it's got a little bit of cushion on there. Of course, it doesn't look like it's going to be the most comfortable ride. But what do you expect? It's a go-kart, so um, not expecting much out of that. The steering wheel um, is not a rubberized, it's uh, just a hard plastic uh, steering wheel there. And then of course you can adjust the height of um, how high you want this and then you can adjust how far apart you need this depending on your height. So if you're, you know, if uh, your kids are going to be riding it, of course you want to have it pushed in almost all the way. I believe it's supposed to fit anyone from 5'3". Uh, all the way up to six foot three. Uh, but I heard the sweet spot for this is gonna be about a person that is uh, around 5'11", five 5'9", five somewhere around there is a sweet spot. Also, I love how it comes already pretty much built out for you. Just gonna have to add the spoiler on there and then they do include a flag, uh, which I highly recommend putting that on since it is a go-kart, if you're going to be riding it around in the neighborhood safely, of course, um, that people are able to see you. So I'd highly recommend putting on the flag. I know I will be putting it on. Um, and then pretty much everything else is uh, easy to put on. Uh, you get your speaker in the box, of course, for your racing sounds or to play music. The charger, your instruction manual, uh, the batteries to control uh, certain things on the go-kart. And then, of course, like I said, you have your spoiler. This is the steering bar I was telling you about. If you were going to use it as uh, the hoverboard, you know, just as the regular Segways as they first were designed for. Uh, this is the leg bar you would 
you would use here to um, ride it in that manner. But I don't have any use for this right now. I don't think I will use it as that. I'm gonna have fun with this thing in go-kart mode. So I'm gonna put this. So this is your included speaker that'll give you those engine sounds or you can just hook up any Bluetooth device to this to play your own sounds while you're uh, out cruising. There's that. And even if you're driving it as the hoverboard or the Segway, um, you can even attach it, is it showing on this picture? You can even attach it to the front of that to jam out. So I'm gonna go ahead and install this and then uh, we're pretty much almost done. That's what I love about this. It's already pretty much built out for you. Just had to add the spoiler and then like the speaker and a couple of screws. So not very much stuff to build out. It's just ready to go out and play. features of this uh, go-kart is the engine sound so you are able to switch through different modes here different engine sounds and it is synced up so when you hit that gas you're able to hear it that is a really neat feature there let's go through some of the pros and cons on this go-kart and then get to is it worth that $2,200 price tag it has on it so the build quality is very top-notch it's mostly a metal and uh, plastic build but it feels solid uh, the wheels feel like they'll last quite a long time as long as you're not abusing them too much uh, I did take it off road a little bit and it handled well still picked up speed like nobody's business and I just feel like it, the build quality on it is going to last quite a long time as long as, you know, like I said, you're not abusing it too much. Um, has quite a bit of features. Uh, the speaker is a cool feature, you know, an added feature on there where you can have the engine sounds synced up to how fast you're going. It, that It just makes it immersive, so that's a cool feature on there. You can either do that or play music now. I suggest you be safe as you're doing these things because the speaker is quite a bit loud, so um, just be aware of your surroundings. Um, secondly, the app has tons of features. There's tons of controls in there that you can change the underglow on this thing and um, also like safety features as far as if you're going to have your kids riding this, you can set a speed limit. The battery life? I have no complaints. I mean, I think my son and I rode it for about 15 miles before it died on us. So let's get to the cons. So it is electric, so you do have to charge it. it takes about seven hours on a, on a almost dead battery to get it fully charged back up. So that's a con. It's not like a gas where you can just put gas in it and then go out and do what you want to do with it. Upsides to not having to put gas into this thing, I mean, Everything is inflated right now in 2022, especially gas. Uh, not to say that electricity has not gone up in price either, but I guarantee you're going to be putting less money in electricity in this thing than you are gas. So that's a positive and a negative on there. Um, my other thing is it is one seater that you can get a two seater go kart uh, slash ATV out there. For a fraction of the cost, I had seen some running for a thousand dollars, and you know you get to have fun with, you know, two family members at the same time. I cannot see myself buying two of these at a two thousand dollar price tag. I just can't justify that price. Bringing to me to my point 
of should you consider this if you have expendable money and you can get this on sale I believe I paid 1600 before taxes on this I still can't justify that completely at that price point for something um, like this but let me tell you it is a blast it is super fun to ride this thing but I just can't justify that price tag uh, that that is the biggest con it is on the pricier side like I said you can find a gas powered um, lawnmower motor go-kart out there and you're gonna spend a ton less um, but this thing is fun don't get me wrong I, I don't regret my purchase I can see that my son and I are gonna get tons of use out of this I had I even rode with my um, four-year-old daughter on here she had a blast of course she can't ride it by herself yet but you know it is fun but at that price tag I just can't see myself recommending this to someone hope this video could help you guys decide if you were looking into one of these go-karts make that decision on if you should purchase it or hold off and uh, maybe these things will who knows come down in price um, even more in the future but as always thank you so much for joining me here on the nerd jock and don't forget to like and subscribe as well as please leave your comments below let me know do you guys already have one of these go-karts what do you think about it are you planning on getting one or are you planning on holding off to see um, what maybe the future holds are they going to bring out a new model or possibly get a big price cut on these things once again guys thank you so much and until next time see you guys later